you know, a while ago, I had this abandoned project to make a perler bead printer. Do, do any of you know what perler beads are? This is gonna be a bit of a story time tangent, maybe. I don't know if these have different names in different locations. This is like a brand name, right? There's like little plastic tubes, basically. I think they're typically five by five by five millimeters. Not extremely precise, but and then they're made in a bunch of colors and you usually buy them in a big jug like this in random colors. So I was really interested a while ago in making a CNC robot that could print two and or three dimensional shapes with these beads. And the idea is that you would have a hopper, you just put in randomly colored beads in there. Oh gosh, so this was in 2011. This is a MakerBot thingamatic, which I still have and I'm, I'm trying to figure out whether I should scrap it for parts or try to restore it to get it to be useful for someone else or what, because it's a pretty ancient 3D printer by today's standards. So my idea with this is it would take a random assortment of bead colors and then it would figure out what color it gets when it kind of randomly jiggles a bead down a funnel into a kind of alignment tube using a color sensor. And then if it needed a bead of that color on the current layer, it would put it down. Otherwise it would move, move to a discard area and discard it. And you know, you could later put those back in the hopper. The original design for this printer used a DC motor extruder, where you just kind of turn on the motor and it kind of chugs out plastic without really any control over how much plastic it's emitting, which is not useful. And then of course, due to some manufacturing variances in the motors, plus the fact that they were trying to do open loop PWM control on a DC motor extruder, the original MakerBot and the Thingamatic just had terrible extruders. And so my machine kind of took on this Frankenstein's monster quality pretty early on because I replaced the extruder with a geared stepper motor unit from Maker Gear. I think that's actually angled at the top, but it's a little cylindrical opening that captures a single perler bead. So this funnel would shake, the hopper itself would be stationary, and then the funnel would vibrate until a single bead happens to bounce its way into this opening that beads can only get into in the right orientation. I made all this stuff with OpenS CAD. The idea was the bead would fall down in the middle here, and then you would sort of shift it over one way or the other to either deposit it down onto the build plate or discard it. So the idea was you would examine the color of the bead, then move the XY plate to the location where you'd want the bead to drop, and then this servo would kick it one direction and then it would drop down a chute and stick onto the plate. And because the perler beads have those little pegs in the center, you wouldn't need to align them extremely precisely. So I wasn't designing it like a vacuum pick and place machine, but more like, you know, like a sorting robot that has an XY table under it. Yeah, so this was a fun OpenSCAD project. This was by far the most complicated piece and the one that I did the most testing on. Um, so there's this vibrating funnel that's held on these springs. There's these stationary pillars to hold the next layer. I designed this to work with a common motor that you can get out of like a CD-ROM eject mechanism. And the spindle goes into this little slightly eccentric spacer. And the ex eccentric spacer then goes into the center of a bearing. So that whole thing spins and kind of wobbles the bearing around. And so the wobbling bearing fits into this sort of hoop right here that captures it and then transmits the sort of wobbling motion into the funnel. So this was a fun part to design and it actually worked pretty well. subject of perler beads anyway. I have been thinking more about physical objects. There's a lot that I have trouble wrapping my head around with regard to how to be like a creator online and like how to make stuff that people want and how to follow my interests without just burning out and not having any interests. So I, I find I find all that stuff pretty amorphous and hard to hard to wrap my head around. But making physical objects, I feel like I should do more of that and do more just making physical things and selling them, having a shop, you know? Oh yeah, this is, this is old stuff too. This has a four digit thing number. 
Thing numbers are like seven digits now or something. Was this before or after the stepper extruder? I can't even tell. But yeah, it builds spring profile profiles out of arcs joined together. It was fun to make.